साइराम एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस होप योर इंटरनल असिसमेंट्स हार्ड बीन डन सक्सेसफुली एंड स्मूथली नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इंग्लिश ओके सो इन इंग्लिश वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर न्यू चैप्टर एंड इन अ न्यू चैप्टर वट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट आर न्यू चैप्टर इन आर न्यू चैप्टर इट इज़ अ स्टोरी अबाउट अ बॉय who is just like you okay what does what does it means just like you that means that boy is also very naughty and he is not stable at one place same similarly like you as you are very naughty and you won't stay on a single place you always roam here and there in classrooms in homes everywhere and you love to play in every time every time you love to play na similarly that boy loves to play so this is the story of a boy a small boy who loves to play who loves to crawl like a insect who loves to fly like a bird who loves to play all the time and and he is very energetic he is very energetic and he wants to play every time so this is the story about a boy whose name is satya okay whose name is satya and who always wants to play every time okay so let's begin with our chapter our chapter is chapter number 4 satya watch out okay satya watch out one day his mother took him to a garden took a place for playing so this is story about that boy and all the activities that he performed there with his mother and this boy lives in tamil nadu so in tamil nadu there is a slight change in the language so that's why this boy call his mother as amma his father as appa and his sister as akka and his father as tatha so this is there is a slight change in his language okay so let's begin with reading with reading our chapter okay all the underlined words in our chapter will be will be the difficult words so see the spelling here very carefully so before starting there is a there is a small there is a small crossword round this is your find out how certain animals move the picture clues will help you okay so we have to what we have to do we have to read the clues and with the help of these clues we have to solve these crosswords okay so see the first one so our first one is waddle like a these are the movements of the animals how does these animals move so the first one is waddle like a what's this word this word is penguin so write the spelling of penguin p e n g u i n penguin i'm writing the spelling here p e n g u i n penguin okay so you have to write only the blank boxes you have to write only the words in the blank boxes so in the first box write down e and in the next box write down n and then u and then i okay so this is the first one now see the second one gallop like a dash gallop like a dash so here is here is gallop like a dash so what is this animal this animal is horse h o r s e horse h o r s e horse okay so gallop like a horse see the next one next is your leap like a leap like a see the animal the, the name of the animal is dolphin so dolphins leaps so leap like a 
डॉल्फिन सो राइट डाउन इन द थर्ड वन डी ओ इज रिटर्न ऑलरेडी एल D O L P H I N dolphin. Okay. Now see the fourth one. Jump like a dash. What it is? It is a grasshopper. So write down G R A double S H O is already written. Double P E R grasshopper. G R A double S Grass, H O double P E R hopper, grass hopper. Now see the next one. Next is your crawl like an ant. Write A and is already written ant. A N T ant. Write in the fourth one A N T ant. Now see the fifth one. Crawl, uh, sorry, sixth one. Slither like a snake. Snake slithers. So S N A. K E S N A K E snake S N A K E snake okay so this is about all this is all about the movements of the animals and these are the name of the animals so you had solved your crosswords now see the chapter here now see the chapter now chapter starts Satya can't stay still he runs and jumps and spins and rolls. And falls. Sit quietly for a minute. Satya says, Appa. If you get hurt, don't come crying to me. Says Akka. Don't you dare break anything. Says Tata. I am reading one more time. Satya can't stay still. He runs and jumps and spins and rolls and falls. Sit quietly for a minute, says Appa. If you get hurt, don't come to me, says Akka. Don't you dare break anything, says Tatha. You are disturbing the class, says his teacher. So this is about Satya. Satya is very naughty. He all all the time he jumps, spins, rolls, and falls. So everybody always scolds him to stay stable, to stay quiet, to do not roll over there, here and there. Okay. Now see, but what can Satya do if his hand and legs are always dancing? Okay. Today is Sunday. It's Satya's favorite day of the week. The day he goes to the farm where Amma works. It's a long walk to the farm through secret up and down paths, open fields, thick forests and gently flowing streams. Gently flowing streams. Satya's hop like a hare and sprints like a deer. The mud is squishy. Be careful, says Amma. So what happened? Satya's, Satya's body part always dancing. He cannot stay still. Similarly like you. Okay. So today is Sunday. It is the day Sunday which is the Satya's favorite day. Okay. Works. And in the farm, he went to the ups and downs path in the open field and in the thick forest and in the flowing streams. And he, there he, what he had done, he plays, he plays very energetically like hops like a hare. That means hops like a hare. That means hops like a small baby of a horse. Okay. And sprints like a deer. Sprint that means kind of jumping. He tries to jump like a deer. The mud is squishy. There is all over the mud and that is squishy. That means the that means it is little wet and soft. So on uh, there his Amma says to Satya that 
be careful don't get hurt that means okay now see the next he crawls like a centipede and slithers like a snake look out for thorns says amma he swings like a spider and leaps like a langur we use the strong branches my little monkey says amma so all over he crawls like a centipede centipede is a kind of insect okay and so slithers like a snake like that means that he slithers like a snake okay look out for the thorns his amma says that don't get hurt from the thorns so look at the thorns first okay he swings like a spider he swings like a spider and leaps like a langur you have saw, saw the langur na how they jump they leap on the trees okay then use the strong branches his amma says that use the strong branches otherwise you will be fall okay my little monkey branches my little monkey now see the next he paddles like a duck and swims like a frog stay in the shallows okay says amma he climbs like a lizard and jumps like a goat don't slip says amma okay he everywhere he paddles like a duck and swims like a frog and stays in a shallows okay Uh, his amma says that stays in a shallows okay that means where the where the water will not be deep okay and he always climbs like a lizard and lizard and jumps like a goat he jumps like a goat and his amma says that don't slip don't slip and don't get hurt okay now see the next Satya flaps his arm like wings and tries to fly away. He imagines himself soaring and gliding like a vulture. Late in the evening when the sun sets and the crickets begin to hum, it's time to go home. Tired Satya climbs on his mother's back. They return through the ups and down up and down paths, fields, forests and streams. okay so what happens satya flaps like a bird he flaps like a bird like a vulture he thought he is a vulture and similarly uh, with uh, similarly like a vulture he trying to soaring and gliding that means soaring and gliding wants to fly okay and then when he had played and tired in the late evening when the sun sunsets then uh, then what happened then the crickets crickets are the small kind of uh, happened satya's satya's mother took the satya's on his back okay and they returned to the home through that ups and downs paths and fields and forest and streams okay then at home appa akka and tatha take one look at bruise and muddy satya and burst into the laughter okay when they reached to the home when their family member when the family members of satya that means his appa his his akka and his tatha that means his father his sister and his grandfather when they when they saw uh, when they saw satya bruised that means all over scratches and marks okay so when they saw the satya like this and for, and he has filled with the mud they la they laugh very much tatha take uh, tatha bats him appa cooks him dinner akka tells him his favorite story as he falls asleep in his dreams satya runs and jumps and spins and rolls okay what happened then his tatha that means his grandfather took him for the bath and his appa that means his father makes the dinner for him and his sister that means his akka his akka his akka tells the story to satya to fall asleep and then in his dream satya again runs and jumps and spins and rolls he again uh, he again playing with very energy with very energy and flies away and then flies away so this is the story about satya
now let's do let's do the work okay let's do the book work open your book ask him to sit quietly is that true or false it is true or false yes it is true so first one is true now second appa tells satya not to break anything it's false or true false okay then see the third satya's teacher ask him not to disturb the class is that true or false it's true now fourth satya goes to the farm on sundays true because it's his favorite day that means a holiday i hope it is the favorite day of you all now see the fifth one satya's amma teaches in the school no she works in the farm now see the sixth one satya is an imaginative child true he is an imaginative child okay so this is the true and false see again the first one is true then false then true fourth is true fifth is false sixth is true okay now see the next list the words below there is the question and answer we will do the question answers in our notebook write the, uh, now see the next one next is list the words from the text used to describe the movement of these animals you have to tell the words which shows the movement of these animals so first is deer the first is deer so the movement of the deer is sprints s p r i n t sprint this is the first one now see the second second is snake snake one langur langur the movement of langur is leap l e a p leap okay i'm repeating the spelling one more time deer sprint s p r i n t sprint now second is snake the spelling of the movement of snake is slither s l i t h e r slither next is third third is langur and the movement which shows the, the word that shows the movement of langur is leap l e a p leap okay now see on the next page on the next page there are more three words write down fourth fourth is frog frog what is the movement of frog the movement of frog is swim s w i m s w i m swim now see the fifth one fifth is goat g o a t goat so the movement of goat is jump j u m p jump j u m p jump and the sixth is vulture the movement of vulture is soaring is soaring or you can also write gliding okay i'm repeating the spelling again fourth is frog and the movement which show and the word which shows the movement is swim and the spelling of swim is s w i m s w i m now see the fifth one fifth is goat and the word that shows the movement of goat is jump so the spelling of jump is j u m p jump j u m p jump now see the sixth one sixth is vulture so the word that shows the movement of the vulture is soaring s o a r i n g soaring you This is this is the answers of this question now see the b1 look at the picture take the correct words to complete these sentences you have to look this picture and you have to take the words by completing these sentences first one is the family cleans or paints a room see what what does the family do it cleans the room so tick on the cleans okay tick on cleans tick on cleans now see the second one the woman sweeps or dusts the table lamp what is woman doing she is doing she is dust dust the lamps so tick on the dust now see the third one the man vacuums or sweep the shelf 
what is he doing he vacuums so tick on the vacuum now see the fourth one the girl waters or mops the table what is she doing she mops the table okay she is doing mopping now see the fifth one the boy wipes or opens the window what is he doing he wipes the window not opening he is doing why he is wiping the windows okay i am repeating again first one is cleans second is dust third is vacuums fourth is mops fifth is wipes okay now see the next one on the next page see this is your grammar grammar in this look at these pictures read the words what you have to do you have to look the pictures and you have to read the words first one is paint second is punch next is fly then swim then kick these words show some action these these are the actions if we do the painting this is a action we are performing an action if we punch someone then it is a action and if we fly it is also an action and if we swim then it is also so such words are called the action words these are called the action words so what we have to do now circle the action words in these sentences one has been done for you the first one has been done for you first is the boy laughs loudly so the action which is done here is laugh so the action which is done here is laugh now see the second one we walk to the market so the action here is walk now the third the buses move very fast so the action is move now see the fourth one they play with the puppy so the action is puppy now see the fifth one we see the red train so the action is see sixth one is my dogs bark loudly so the action is bark okay i'm repeating one more time in first one already it has been done first one was laugh in the second one circle the walk in third one circle the move in fourth one circle play in fifth one circle c and in sixth one circle bark okay now see the next read these sentences they goes to the park it is not correct the correct one is they go to the park okay when we use they we use go with that and in the next misha drinks juice it is correct if we write misha drink juice it is not correct because it is in the present okay so underline the correct words we have to underline the correct word the first one is mother bake or bakes the yummy cakes bakes because it is in the present tense so mother bakes yummy cakes in the second one maria maria likes or like painting she likes the painting okay maria likes not like we do not like sports so underline do in the fourth one tara plays or play the violin so underline the plays here okay then the fifth one he goes or go there on the sunday underline goes in the sixth one harun sing or sings well so underline sings here i am repeating one more time for underline bakes then underline likes then underline do then underline plays then underline goes and and the last at the last underline sings okay now this is about your english grammar portion and now see the writing area in the writing area what you have to do how much can a note say read this note in the form of a poem okay so this is a note but you have to read this note in the form of a poem so okay okay let's start this is just to say i have jumped over the fences gone bump 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 i have climbed the trees and got a thrown dress got and got a torn dress i have nothing to wear mom don't be mad at me okay so i am repeating the poem one more time this is just to say i have jumped over the fence gone bump 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 i have climbed the tree and got a torn dress 
I have nothing to wear. Mom, don't be mad at me. So, the, we had read this note in the form of a poem. So, what do you notice? What do you notice? There is no full stop and no commas in the poem. So, when people write the simple notes, whenever the people write the simple notes or any poetry, they never, sometimes they never follow any rule of writing. So, what you have to do, this is an activity for you. This is your activity. Now, you have to write a poem starting with this is just to say. First line would be this is just to say. And you can use these words which is given. Any full stop. So, this is an activity. You have to do this activity in your fair notebook. You have to write this poem in your fair notebook. It must be of 5 to 6 line only. You have to use these words which is in the box and write a poem by your own. And the most important thing, the first line of your poem should be, this is just to say. And then you have to make your poem by your own. Okay. Now see the next. Listen and tick the correct option. Okay. So this is about the listen and tick. So we do not do, we will not do this because this is only done by on your smart classes. So there is no smart classes. So you have to leave it. Okay. Now see the next. Next is read this dialogue. Pay attention to the usage of the word. Okay. In the color. Right. See, focus on the words which is used in the box, which is in the color form. Okay. So I am reading the dialogues. May I please borrow your pencil? So there is the colored word is please. Next is sure. The answer is sure. Next is you may use my crayons if you want. So the word is which is in the color is thank you. Next is oh no you have broken the glass. So the answer is I am so sorry. So the word is sorry. These are your respecting words. Okay. So now form pairs work with your partner to say the dialogues use the words please thank you and sorry okay you may speak about the following you can speak about these following and you have to use these words you can use these words and you have to say this uh, you can uh, perform this activity with your parents or your siblings or your friends okay try to do this your home do this at your home it will be very fun notebook okay work of notebook so what you have to do in the notebook i am going to show on the new page you have to write down today's date and then write chapter number four chapter four in the first line write down chapter four in the first line write down chapter four satya watch out satya watch out in the next line write down the name of the chapter satya watch out satya watch out okay then leave one line. Then you have to leave one line and then write in the Roman number 1 new words. In the Roman number 1 new words. Okay. So the first new word is spins. First new word is spins. Similarly as it is written here, you have to write in the similar way. Spins. S-P-I-N-S. -S. Spins. S-P-I-N-S. -S. Spins. Second is minute. Second is minute. The spelling of minute is M-I-N-U-T-E minute. M-I-N-U-T-E minute. Third is disturbing. Third is disturbing. D-I-S-T-U-R-B-I-N-G disturbing. D-I-S-T-U-R-B-I-N-G disturbing. Fourth is favorite. F-A-V-O-U-R-I-T-E favorite. F A V O U R I T E favorite. Fifth is gently. Fifth is gently. G E N T L Y gently. G E N T L Y gently. S T R E A M S streams. Seventh is sprints. Seventh is sprints. S P R I N T S sprints. S P R I N T S sprints. Eighth is crawl. Eighth is crawl. C R A W L crawl. C R A W L crawl. 
नाइन्थ इज ब्रांचेज नाइन्थ इज ब्रांचेज बी आर ए एन सी एच ई एस ब्रांचेज बी आर ए एन सी एच ई एस ब्रांचेज टेंथ इज पेडल्स पी ए डबल डी एल ई एस पेडल्स पी ए डबल डी एल ई एस पेडल्स इलेवेंथ इज ड्रीम्स डी आर ई ए एम एस ड्रीम्स डी आर ई ए एम एस ड्रीम्स ट्वेल्थ इज इमेजिन्स ट्वेल्थ इज इमेजिन्स I M A G I N E S imagines. I M A G I N E S imagines. Thirteenth is gliding. G L I D I N G gliding. G L I D I N G gliding. Fourteenth is soaring. S O A R I N G soaring. S O A R I N G soaring. Fifteenth is leaps. Fifteenth is leaps. L E A P S leap. L E A P S leaps. I am repeating one more time. First is S P I N S spins. Second is M I N U T E minute. Third is D I S T U R B I N G disturbing. Fourth is F A V O U R I T E favorite. Fifth is G E N T L Y gently. Sixth is S T R E A M S streams. Seventh is S P R I N T S sprints. Eighth is C R A W L crawl. Ninth is B R A N C H E S branches. Tenth is P A D P A double D L E S pedals. Twelfth is I M A G I N E S. Tenth is L E A P S leaps. Okay. Now see now after leaps you have to leave one line. After leap you have to leave one line and write second in the Roman number. Similarly as it is written on your screens. Make sentences and then write make sentences. In make sentences, the first one is crawl. In the next line, write down first crawl. C R A W L crawl. And the sentence of crawl is the insects crawl on the ground. The insects crawl on the ground. Underline the crawl. Then see the second one. Second is gently, G E N T L Y gently, G E N T L Y gently. So the sentence of gently is my mother combs my hair gently. My mother combs my hair gently. Then the third one, third is minute, third is minute, M I N U T E minute, M I N U T E minute, and the sentence of the minute is. Sixty minute makes an hour. Sixty minute makes an hour. Sixty minute. Sixty minute makes an hour. So underline the minute. Now the third one. Third is I'm just repeating the make sentences one more time. First is. One second is gently. G E N T L Y gently. So the sentence. Of gently is my mother combs my hair gently. My mother combs my hair gently. Now third one is M I N U T E minute. Do, so the sentence with the minute is sixty minute makes an hour. Sixty minute makes an hour. Now see the third question. After doing the make sentences, leave one line again and write the third question. Write the three in the Roman numbers as it is written on your screen. Write down word meaning. Word meaning. So the first word meaning says. So the first word meaning is squishy. S Q U I S H Y squishy. S Q U I S H Y squishy. And the meaning of squishy is wet and soft. Wet and soft. W E T wet and S O F T soft. Now see the second one shallow. S H A double L O W. S H A double L O W shallow. So the meaning of shallow is part of a river or pond that is not deep. Part of a river or pond that is not deep. Part of a river or pond that is not deep. Now see the third. Third is flaps. F L A P S flaps. F L A P S flaps. So the meaning of flaps is moves up and down, moves up and down, moves up and down. Now see the fifth one. Fifth is gliding. 
G L I D I N G G L I D I N G gliding so the meaning of gliding is moving B R U I S E C D bruised. So the meaning of bruised is full of marks and scratches. Full of marks and scratches. Marks and scratches. I am repeating one more time the word meaning. First is squishy. S Q U I S H Y squishy. And the meaning of squishy is wet and soft. Second is S H A W L O W shallow. And the meaning of shallow is part of a river or a pond that is not deep. and then the third one flaps f l a p s flaps and the meaning of flaps is moves up and down now the fourth one soaring s o a r i n g soaring the meaning of soaring is flying high fifth is gliding g l i d i n g gliding so the meaning is moving softly sixth is bruised b r u i s e d bruised and the meaning of bruised is full of marks and scratches full of marks and scratches after writing the word meaning leave again one line then write the four in roman number answer the following questions answer the following questions so the first question is why does everybody laugh at satya why does everybody laugh at satya so the answer is everybody likes the fact that satya has fun and is not ashamed of anything so comma they laughed at him i am repeating the answer one more time everybody likes the fact that satya has fun and is not ashamed of anything so comma they laughed at him now in the next line write down talk about animals in his story so the answer is yes comma the writer compares satya to various animals yes comma the writer compares satya to various animals he compared to a hare a deer centipede comma snake comma spider comma langur comma duck comma frog comma lizard comma goat and vulture i'm repeating the answer of two again yes comma the writer compares satya to various animals full stop he is compared to a hare comma deer comma centipede comma snake comma spider comma langur comma duck comma frog comma lizard comma goat and vulture Now see the question number third. The third question is, where does the story take place? Where does the story take place? So the answer is, the story takes place in a village in Tamil Nadu. The story takes place. The story takes place in a village in in a small village in Tamil Nadu. The spelling of Tamil Nadu is T A M I L N A D U. Tamil Nadu. Now see the fourth one. What is the story about? What is the story about? Answer is the story is about an imaginative, i m a g i n a t i v e, imaginative, playful and energetic boy called Satya, who comma who enters himself by imagining himself to a various animal. I'm repeating the answer again. The story is about an imaginative, playboy, playful, and energetic boy called Satya, comma who and en who entertains himself by imagining himself to be various animals. Now see the fifth one. Our fifth one is, what animals would you pretend to be like if you were Satya? what animals would you be pretend like if you were satya so the answer is if i was satya comma i would pretend to be a lion comma peacock 
comma elephant comma tiger comma snake comma langur etc if i was satya comma i would pretend to be a lion comma peacock comma elephant comma tiger comma snake comma langur comma ex, uh, langur etc okay so this is all about your notebook work and book work so this is the chapter number 4 we had done the chapter number 4 today stay well at your home stay safe and study well thank you so much